Hey you guys, it's Braid tonight. We're here to talk about the text messages and inappropriate things that Trent Ballinger was saying with an underage fan. I have mentioned this in other videos, but they have been kind of jumbled in with other topics regarding Colleen, and I figured that this was important enough and vital enough to the conversation to make a dedicated video to show the texts that Trent Ballinger was sending to an underaged fan. So dedicated, concise, hopefully it's not too long, but if you're interested, please keep watching. Hey guys, before we get into the messages, I also wanted to post the proof that Ollie has shown on their social media just to confirm that these were actually from Trent. So I will roll that and then I'll get into my reaction. So a lot of people have been asking for proof and while obviously I'm not going to go back and find every single message um, and show you because that would be a lot of messages. Um, here's proof that we messaged and this was one of the more uh, alarming messages, I guess. Um, yeah, and then you can... I can click here and it's him right here yep all right you guys so we're just gonna start right from the top these come from somebody named ollie and ollie was obviously like many other people a super fan of the ballinger family and connected with trent these conversations should have never happened point blank period Trent knew how old this fan was and continued carrying on these conversations. As I show these screenshots, keep in mind that the texts in gray are Trent, the ones in blue are Ollie, and let's start from the top. Trent says, this was uh, July 2018, okay, just don't share a conversation with anyone. Anything we talk about stays between you and I. Already knowing that if this conversation saw the light of day, that he would be in trouble. Continued on the conversation anyway. Ollie says, oh, okay, don't worry, with a heart emoji. Trent says, thanks. Trent says, I'm told to not talk to anyone under 18. Again, pointing out the fact that he knew he was wrong for doing this, kept doing it anyway. He says, I do so just to spread positivity. So yeah. So Trent Ballinger, how is interacting with minors spreading positivity. I think it's spreading inappropriate parasocial connections that you knew were wrong and you did them anyway. Ollie says, oh, I don't see anything wrong with talking to people that are under 18. Who said that? You really do spread positivity and I love it with two heart emojis. Trent says, family. So his family, I'm assuming his parents, had already told him, do not do this. And it makes me wonder, was he caught doing it previously? And that's why he was told not to. You don't look bi, so I'm like in head tilts. Talking about a minor's sexuality. Ollie says, oh, I don't, laughing emoji, but yeah, I think I am. Trent said, why do you think you are? Ollie says, I don't know, I just don't think I'm straight, I guess. Trent says, just be honest with yourself, you're young and you don't have to label yourself yet. Ollie says, you are very right. Yeah, I don't want to completely label myself yet. I guess the closest thing is bye. Trent says, why do you think that? Curious why. Why is it any of your damn business as a 30-something year old man to be talking to a 13-year-old about their sexuality? Ollie said, I don't know. I guess, why would I think I'm straight? At this point, I really don't know what I am, but I'm questioning. Trent says, how old are you? Ollie responds, 13. He says, yeah, I wouldn't question it yet, Peapod, which I guess is like a pet name, which is disgusting. So that confirms August 2018. Trent knew without a doubt that he was talking to a 13-year-old and continued on these conversations. Ollie said, oh, I have still been texting Faith this whole time and I've been on a break and some other friends, just not on Twitter. And Trent says, why? Why not? 
Allie says, yes, or yeah, laughing emoji. Well, I thought it wouldn't hurt to take a little break from Twitter. Trent says, it hurts. Ollie puts a question mark and says, I'm not leaving for that long or anything. I just think it would be good to have a small break. So here we have a 13 year old with enough self-awareness to say, I need to take a break from this social media platform. And we have a 30 something year old man asking them not to, because this is his parasocial little, little pet that he is inappropriately connecting with. Disgusting. Trent says, I know, but not having you tweet is like not having a leap of faith taking over for you. I'll still be on Twitter sometimes though. I just like to limit my time and it's only for a little bit. Don't worry. He replies, I'm very worried. Ali says, for me? He says, yes. Ali says, why? Hmm, cause your tweets are fun. What's fun about looking at tweets from a literal child? Unless you're a creep. Trent also had a problem with Ollie when it was time for Ollie to go to bed at night. Ollie said, sorry, I'm back now. I'm going to sleep, so good night. This is literally 3.17 in the morning. A 13-year-old child. 3 a.m. Trent says, oh, really? Ollie says, yes, good night. Trent says, no. Ollie said, it's getting late and my sleep medicine is about to make me sleep. Sleep, good night, Trent. Trent says, stop taking meds then. You're telling a child who needs to take some medication for their sleep, which, you know, that's not any of my business, whatever, to stop taking their meds. You are encouraging a child to not take medication that they have been prescribed by a doctor. Now, here we go. More creepy messages. Trent says, when blank said, and thank thank God they did it with Peapod, makes it sound like you two had sex with nervous emojis. Ali says, oh no, it's one of Tim's song lyrics. Trent says, but she says you couldn't, you couldn't it it without you and thank you and thank you. Sounds like you two are a couple. This is a 30 something year old man saying this to a literal child. Ali says, oh no, it's because the song lyric had a lot of growing up to do and thank God they did it with you. So we were growing together, I guess, but no, just best friends. Trent replies, uh, sure. Trent says, how do you look now? Like, what do I look like right now? Trent says, can I hear your normal voice one day? Ali says, yes, of course. I'm sure there's a video out there somewhere with my normal voice. Trent says, no, I want one from you. Ali says, well, she probably knows where one is. I'm not sure. Trent says, you can make one for me. Requesting a video with this child's voice for himself. He says, I just wanted a special video of you. Disgusting. This, this reading these messages makes me feel a little ill. We're almost done with it. He, in March of 2019 said, you can text me anytime. I will listen to you without judgment. And Ollie says, you mean DM? Yeah, haha, thanks. Trent says, no, text and puts his phone number if you need someone to talk to. And if Twitter are not there, you just need someone there. You know, school and life is rough. What a creepy, creepy man. Ollie responds and says, hey, I really appreciate it, but I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to text you. And I don't think my mom would want me to either. I'm really sorry. This is a child apologizing to a grown man because that child knew that it was wrong and the grown man continued to push the envelope. Now, this is the last screen grab. It's from September of 2018. And Ollie says, part of it's cut off, but it says, it was at least six years ago. Trent says, so you were 10. Ollie says, I was probably six or seven. So I barely remember it with, it was the regular we and not the we, you, uh, Trent says, cool. Ollie puts a laughing emoji and Trent says, I thought you were 16. I have a problem to that. I would say, yes, Trent Ballinger, you do have a problem. You, like a lot of other people in the Ballinger family used Colleen's success as a way to build your own little fan club. And the problem with having fan clubs is when you have children in those fan clubs and you are interacting inappropriately with them. 
if you are an adult, and this applies to anyone in this entire situation, if you are an adult and you are having conversations with children and you are talking about things that are inappropriate, you are a disgusting piece of trash. And that is how I feel about it. I will not budge on this opinion. I am all for being educated and having my opinion changed. But when it comes to adults having these types of conversations with minors, I'm done. I'm out. I think it's disgusting. I think you do have a problem. And that's the only thing that I will agree with in all of those messages that we read. Trent Ballinger is a problem and he should be held accountable just as Colleen is being held accountable. I am not saying they did the same exact thing, but they are both extremely disturbed individuals. So as I said, I wanted this to be a really straightforward video highlighting the messages that Trent was sharing with this underage fan, Ollie, and who knows what else might come to light as this situation continues on. Hey guys, I also wanted to add in here that there are other messages that have been circulating where Trent would send Ollie photos of themselves and really weird things like that, but I wanted to kind of focus on the top offenders, the biggest red flags in this video. If you guys want, I can do a part two. But I did want to make this its own dedicated video because Trent Ballinger can get it too. If Colleen is being discussed on a consistent basis, Trent needs to be discussed as well because he is right up there with her. But that is going to be it for today. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.